I can tell it's going to be a long one. Buckle up, bitches. <coughs> Hello, my beautiful dolls. My name is Myris, and welcome to my stunning YouTube channel. Yes, I'm back a month later. I took a little bit um, of a break from YouTube, from Instagram. Been just, you know, enjoying makeup in real life. Um, working on this look, actually. Um, I've been wanting to do this look for a very long time. And we're finally here. We finally uh, arrived. And let me tell you something. It took me quite a while to conceptualize the whole look. And I'm so happy that I'm sitting down today and filming this. Because I've been actually like thinking, should I film it for YouTube? Should I just like do it for Instagram and like for the project I'm really working on? Um, this look is going to be the third. Actually, like, it's like the second, but there's gonna be like three looks, but anyway. It's going to be like the third final look of three looks that I, I want to incorporate in the project I'm currently working on. Not gonna say too much because I'm not quite sure whether I'm gonna actually release this project or not, but hopefully I will. I'm quite impressed and quite excited um, about everything that I've already done uh, with the project. Um, so yeah, this look is definitely the most complicated so far from all of the uh, ones that I uh, did for this particular project. So yeah, did all the accessories, everything is ready to go. <sighs> this is crazy, I don't know. I haven't done something like this like in a very long time. It's probably gonna take the depths of life out of me, but you know, if you're not struggling, if you're not in pain, you're not doing drag, you're not doing it correctly, so... Um, before we get into the whole video, the whole makeup and wiggetry and whatever, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. All right, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna glue down my hairline, pop on my contacts, also do my brows off camera, just you know, so it's quicker and easier for me to continue <laughs> this video. And I'll be right back, hopefully not dead and willing to, you know, live and continue this journey. Wow, sexy, I am not. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I already glued down my hairline, also did my brows, my nose, my forehead, wearing contacts which you know what it means, basically. My eyes are gonna be just like falling out by the end of this video, by the end of this day. The next day, my eyes are also gonna be falling out because, I don't know, I cannot wear contacts. It's just like too much. Um, I can barely see in them, which is fun, which is, you know, kind of helpful in a way. If I look busted, I'm, I'm probably gonna look at myself and be that's fine because, you know, the vision is blurry. So if you're wondering what I used on my brows, I used the Instinct Palette by Makeup Revolution in collaboration with the one and only Alexis Stone. And I used these grays right here. I dipped into this one first and then I darkened the tails uh, with the third shade. And I'm thinking of doing something very rounded and very monochromatic. I wanna do like a gray smoky eye with black. It's gonna be kinda neat, but also messy with a cut crease um, and probably something sparkly on the fake crease that I'm gonna create later. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Taking my P. Louise base on P. Louise uh, 70, 72 brush. I got these brushes and this is actually like my first time properly using them. I use them, but not for like precise eye work and what have you. I use them like for concealer and whatever, which technically you can use brushes for whatever reasons you want, but like I bought them particularly to have like a very flat, precise brush for like cutting the crease because my brush are from craft store honey and most of them are raggedy ugly and used so it's nice to have new synthetic flat brushes that actually do the work now i'm gonna take my kitten co brush uh i'm using 1.20 and i'm gonna dip into the second shade from the makeup revolution palette and i'm gonna just pack it on the eyelid in like a rounded type of shape I haven't done drag makeup in a while, <clears throat> especially on video. So it's nice to finally sit down, talk to you, my dolls, and just, you know, have fun with makeup. My previous video did really well. Thank you so much to everybody who watched it and supported my channel. I really appreciate it. I actually did not expect that it's gonna be, you know, that successful, but it got like one. 0.5k views, which is like really nice. I think it's in three days, it never happened to me before. I was like, what's going on? So something like this, and then I'm just gonna blend out the edges. 
Now I'm gonna take Butter Black Base by P. Louise and I'm just gonna apply it in a rounded shape under the gray that I applied earlier. I really want like a very intense type of black on the eye, so let's see how it goes. Now I'm gonna take Psyche's Box by Clara Psyche and I'm gonna dip into the shade Eclipse. And I'm just gonna set that black. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out good. I'm gonna take third shade from Makeup Revolution palette and I'm gonna try to... I'm kind of switching be between uh, the third and the fourth shade um, from the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm trying to blend it out. I'm gonna take some white and set that brow bone. Honestly, when I'm blending eyeshadows, it's like I'm going back and forth between <clears throat> all of the shades that I used previously and like trying to make it work. I'm still kind of learning how to blend like a pro. So sometimes I look at myself and I'm just like, what have I done? Like right now, for example. <laughs> but don't worry, we're gonna make it work. Like we always do. At first, it's still a wreck, but then it kind of, you know, kind of works out at the end. At least that's what I tell myself. Now I'm just darkening like certain areas that I feel like aren't dark enough with the same black from Makeup Revolution palette. <sighs> I'm gonna take Phantom from Psyche's box and just kind of run, run it around just for more perfect blend. It's like a very soft, very beigey type of gray. It's not like just like straight up gray. It's more like a gray with a little bit beige tint to it, if it makes sense. Also, can we talk about this hairline coverage? I mean, not bad considering that I'm, you know, I don't really do it very often and I don't really wear wigs that often. I look like an egg. <laughs> I literally used Eric Krause glue stick and set it with baby powder. Uh, then I color corrected it with some orange crayon. I think it's by Golden Rose. Yes, it's called Matte Lipstick Crayon in the shade 24. Just did a little bit of color correction, then I set it again, and then I applied new version of Superstay uh, foundation by Maybelline. It's called Superstay Active Wear 30 Hours. Um, yeah, they allegedly reformulated it, and this is what the, the old version looks like. This is what the new one looks like. I don't know why, but I cannot find my shade in this range. Um, it's usually too neutral or too pink. I mean, this one, not too bad, honestly. Like for drag, for just like pictures and what have you, I'm probably gonna use it. Um, it's in the shade 02 Porcelain. Yeah, it kind of works. This one, however, I think it's called Natural Beige. I look like a Dorito chip, honestly. Orange AF. Still gonna use it anyway, but like, the fact that I look orange um, is there, it's present. I think we're kind of happy with the way the blend looks like. Um, I think we can actually cut the crease. And to cut my crease, I'm gonna be using Brow Engineer by Sensorium Beauty in a shade Platinum. Uh, Sensorium Beauty were kind enough to send it to me as a gift and I'm really happy and I'm really excited. I've been using these, um, wait a second. I've been using shades Platinum and Bleached to do my brows. I'm gonna put the picture right here. I've been wearing these on a daily and honestly, it takes me like five minutes to do them. So cool, so easy to work with and so pigmented. I'm absolutely obsessed. A great thing about this product is that not only you can use it, use it on your brows, you can also cut your crease with this product, also use it on your waterline, which is like really cool. It kind of reminds me of liquid lipstick formula. It's very like, um, it sets, it's matte, but it's not like hard rock type of matte. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's very like stretchy and very comfortable on your face, on your eyes. Actually, I haven't used it on my eyes yet, but today is today. I'm just gonna take out this pulley, squeeze a little bit of brown engineer on the back of my hand, just like that. I'm gonna take it on my P. Louise 7072 brush to cut the crease. Let's do it. And first I'm stamping the product on just to kind of get the, the shape. So I'm just gonna pat it on, make sure that it's nice and tacky. Then I'm gonna take a shadow called Carrot Cake by Colourpop and I'm just gonna place it on the eyelid. So as you can see, it works perfectly as an eyeshadow base. 
especially for sparkly eyeshadows. And then we're gonna take the black from the Make Revolution palette and I'm just gonna blend the edges. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the brow engineer and I'm just gonna correct like the edges of the crease that I created. I'm gonna take some eyeshadow and a smaller brush and I'm just gonna pack it on. Love that. Okay, let's do the bottom lash line. I'm gonna dip into the black base and apply it underneath on top of the white foundation to create this kind of off black type of shade. Then we're gonna take my Kid & Co 1.13 brush and I'm just gonna take black from Makeup Revolution palette. I'm gonna set the black. Then I'm gonna take one of the grays from the same palette and I'm just gonna set the inner corner using the angle brush. Then I'm gonna take some Krylon 3 paint stick on P. Louise brush and just gonna correct under the eye. Then I'm gonna take long lasting gel cream eye pencil by Millie Pro in a shade Eternal Light and I'm gonna apply it on my waterline. Then taking a smaller brush, I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit. Now I wanna take uh, On A Whimsy by Colourpop. It's a very silvery eyeshadow. And I wanna pop it on, pop it uh, <laughs> on the inner corner. I don't know what this accent is. I don't know what language I'm speaking. Just, just bear with me. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna regret it. We will see. I don't know, I kinda like it. Kinda cute. I'm probably gonna do like um, an inner corner eyeliner later, like with white. I'm making sure that it's nice and blended. Well, so far this is the eye done. I'm gonna do the second eye of camera and also my foundation just because you've seen me doing my foundation a million of times and I will be right back to continue this makeup journey. All right, so I did my foundation and these contacts are fucking killing me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm already like dying. I don't know how people wear them, especially with makeup. This is a fucking crime against humanity. That's what it is. Electric chair. By the way, I'm contouring my face with Faiza eyeshadow in triple six. I don't know how I'm gonna finish this makeup with my contacts constantly getting cloudy. It's probably because they're really old and also because I'm wearing tons of makeup, obviously. Look at me. But you know what? I'm committed. I'm gonna fucking do it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Even if I'm gonna look busted, which hopefully I won't. Um, I know for sure I won't look busted because I feel like I can do my makeup by now with my eyes closed. You know, we're gonna succeed no matter what. Not gonna lie, I kind of like doing YouTube. I used to be like so terrified and so afraid of just like recording videos and even talking on camera. And if you saw my first two videos, like I probably like uploaded them like two years ago or something. I wasn't even talking because I was so terrified of, I don't know, just, just speaking on camera. And I mean, two years later, look at me now. Hello. I swear to God, I do not see what I'm doing. I do not see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Lord almighty. Also, I learned something interesting. I cannot film without a Red Bull. If I don't have my Red Bull, it's just not gonna happen. My personality does not exist. And with Red Bull, I have somewhat personality. So yeah, and I'm actually able to speak while I'm doing makeup. I'm in general like a very low energy type of person, probably due to my health, but you know, that's just how it is. And I get tired very quickly, which I hate. But if I'm having like a Red Bull while I'm filming, if I'm sipping on it, I feel like I can actually, you know, deliver. By the way, I'm taking Max Factor Cream Puff Powder in No Beige. I'm just kind of going around the same areas, deepening the contour. The wig I'm gonna be wearing is so weird. Like, not the way it's styled, but like in general, like the construction of the wig, it's like the hairline starts so far away and the cap is just like so big, even for my head. And trust me, I have a huge head. And yeah, like the hairline just starts somewhere like, I don't know, definitely not where it should be starting. So one of the reasons why I, co I covered my real hairline is because, you know, I have to make it work somehow. Cause it's like a slick back type of situation and the lace is like hard as hell. I bought this wig on AliExpress and I know that there are a lot of great wigs 
um, human hair wigs. It's a human hair wig. Usually like when I buy synthetic wigs, I have absolutely no problem whatsoever, but I wanted like a short Marilyn type of blonde wig. Let me tell you something. It was quite pricey, not gonna lie, for a short wig. And trust me, I'm aware that human hair wigs are quite pricey. However, this one, I feel like I overpaid. I don't remember like how much it was, but that's beside the point. I did a look with it. I had to Photoshop the hell out of it because like the lace, it was just, first of all, it's transparent. Well, I would say, okay, sure. Yeah, it's tra transparent lace. That's at least what, what it said on the website. However, in reality, it's nothing of the sort. It is really, really hard and it just, it wouldn't lay. It just wouldn't lay on my forehead. It would just like it's really bad. I managed to glue it down, but got to be glued. But still, it looked like trash. And I remember I went live on Instagram and thank God, thank God, the quality of the video was just like so poor. <laughs> Nobody could sell. Well, at least they told me that it was fine. Nobody could tell that the lace was that bad. However, I'm pretty sure it was really bad. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm planning on doing freckles like all over my body, so... I'm not gonna be wearing like any blush. I'm just basically just focusing on applying a ton of bronzer. By the way, while I was working on the accessories for this look, I binge watched Evangelion, the series and the rebuilds, all of them. Also the end of Evangelion. And not gonna lie, I absolutely loved it. I used to be a huge anime fan back in the day when I was like 14, 13. Okay, let's highlight. Um, I crushed a bunch of eyeshadows, including Taco by Sugar Pill and the rest of the white eyeshadows that I had because I literally ran out out of all the eyeshadows and I had like a bunch of um, like leftovers. So I made my own white eyeshadow, if you will. A little update about my anxiety and my depression for anyone who cares. My eye was twitching for, I would, I, I, I wanna say like four, a good month and a half. It started twitching and just wouldn't stop. I don't know why. Well, probably because I was like stressing out about everything and just going in circles in my head. I feel like my nervous system literally just like gave up. I was like, here, bitch, here's a twitching eye. Enjoy. So every time I would wake up for a good 30 minutes, nothing would happen. And after that, it would be just like, I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It was really bad. But it finally stopped, and I'm really happy about it because ugh, it was just something else. I mean, I'm not stressing as much anymore. I'd rather say I'm not stressing anymore at all. I feel like I'm getting my anxiety during winter real bad. And after that, it kind of goes away, and I feel a little bit better. <sighs> But sometimes, like, I really... <clears throat> sometimes I, I still have, like, really bad panic attacks, which is not great. I'm a huge overthinker. Like, I overthink everything and anything. Just give me... Give me a subject, I'm gonna overthink, like, nobody's business 24-7. Like, it's my job. And the thing is, like, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Literally, everything's fine. I don't know why my brain just tells me that I need to be stressing out about anything and everything. Like this year, it was just, it was something else. It never happened to be that hard. I think it started like in autumn and escalated to its highest peak during the winter. Oh my God, it was really bad. It was really bad. I mean, I was kind of questioning like my life choices and I was like, what am I doing with my life? Like, what am I, what am I gonna do next? Like, I can't find a, pro a proper job in here. Like, should I move? What, what should I do? Um, also like identity crisis and everything, you name it. All of those things were like just going through my head and I couldn't just function like a normal person, let alone like to drag or anything. I mean, I still created a couple of videos, but I was like, I was a total mess during filming. I was sad, I was literally, I was so just all over the place. It just felt like all the insecurities that I had, they just piled all of a sudden on each other and fucking attacked me, literally. I was thinking about the past, what happened to me, why am I the way I am, about my eating disorder, everything. It was just like a really bad period of time. <sighs> yeah, but I'm better now. I'm better now. I feel like everything is just like, everything is gone. And 
I don't feel as bad anymore. Oh, another thing, I felt like just wearing makeup on a daily helped me with just putting my mind of things, just kind of zoning out. I mentioned in my previous video that, you know, I used to think about makeup as this professional thing for some for some period of time and I couldn't really like wear makeup outside because I was like oh I need to do this this and that and that and that and if I don't do all of those things um my makeup isn't good enough so I just sat for it and started actually like playing with makeup and experimenting with it I really like underpainting now like the Scott Barnes type of technique it is my new thing like I really love doing that in my you know, daily makeup, which again, I don't wear makeup like all the time, but sometimes I do like even just, you know, to go out and get groceries or whatever. But yeah, it just really, it was like a nice thing to put my mind off things and just enjoy, actually like enjoy fully makeup, simple makeup. And my skin is getting better. I feel like it's so much better than it used to be even like a couple of months ago. Because in 2020, my skin went from bad to terrible. It was really bad. I had breakouts. I also had... I had terrible anxiety. And every time I would look in the mirror, I would pick my face till it would bleed. Literally. You can only imagine, like, how my face would look. It, it was... It was... It was a mess. It was a mess. Every time I would go out um, anywhere, I would be, like, so embarrassed. Just what, what people think, you know? Because my face was literally just, like... A rack. But yeah, I stopped picking on my acne and it got better. I changed my skincare routine, which by the way, I'm gonna film very, very soon. Yeah, and my skin really transformed. I mean, I still get breakouts because I have acne prone skin and I'm very oily. My skin is, I recently realized that my skin is oily dehydrated, which means it produces tons of oil, but it's also dry, which is like. Perfect combo. Perfect combo. Exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. <laughs> what else? What else should I update you on? Oh, I got myself on a PR list. I'm now a part of um, Sensorium Beauty PR list, which is like really exciting. I absolutely love Alexis and I'm so proud of her that, you know, she has her own brand now. And Brow Engineer is just like a really great product. Honestly, like if you know me, if I don't like something, I don't like something. I'm not gonna be, you know, running around lying that I like something just purely because, you know, somebody gifted it to me. But I'm absolutely obsessed with brow engineers and I've been using them literally almost every day. Every time I go out somewhere, I pick up my brow engineers in platinum and blonde. No, platinum and bleached. There we go. And I'm just doing my brows and literally like I've been enjoying doing brows like never before. It's such a great product and it's so easy to use, even if you don't have any brows. But if you do, it's way easier. You just, you know, it has a little spoolie, as you can see. It's very easy to use and very pigmented and worth its money. So definitely check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face once again uh, with Fix Plus and I'll be right back. I'm gonna highlight, gonna use my black light highlighting palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm dipping into the shade Strobe. It's a very icy, it's basically like a pure white highlight, which is exactly what I'm looking for right now. Oh, by the way, before I forget to mention, um, I've been obsessed with the setting spray by Catrice, it's called Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. It looks like this. It is so good, and the mist on this one is so fine. Like, look at this. Magic. Pure magic. Because I feel like all of the other drugstore um, setting sprays or like refreshing sprays, they're literally like hose. They literally just like. And this one, I feel like this one is even better um, in terms of like spraying Fix Plus by MAC because like Fix Plus can also spit a little bit. But this one, it's very like hydrating and I use it like, I use it a lot as you can see. Like I use it half of it already. I use it for my everyday makeup, which is like so perfect for it because it's, it kind of settles all the powders. I don't really wear as much makeup anymore when I'm doing like my everyday makeup. I wear even less uh, makeup than I showed you in my previous everyday makeup routine uh, video. And it kind of helps with the longevity of makeup wear. I also wanted to highlight my brow bone. Huh, all of my brushes are covered in black. Love that. <laughs> 
love that. Oh, this brush is not it. It is not it whatsoever. <laughs> I want to dip into Transformation Palette by Alexis Stone in Makeup Revolution, and I want to take this um, pressed topper pigment, whatever, because it has like a little gold undertone. It's not really as much visible like on camera probably, but like in real life it does make a difference. Should I do a white inner corner liner? That's what I want to know. I think so. I think I should. Just like a tiny baby wing. Otherwise, it's not gonna be me. I'm gonna dip into my NYX gel liner in white, which if you know any great white eyeliner, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, great. I feel like myself now. Um, I'm gonna do my freckles off camera, and if you want to see how I do my freckles, you can watch my everyday makeup routine. It's very easy, it's very simple, go watch it. Okay, so as you can tell, I already did my lips and lashes, and I don't remember the last time I filmed. Honestly, it's a chaos in here. I took out a left contact lens because it got cloudy again, like all the makeup kind of gathered on top of the contact lens, and I couldn't see shit. So, I'm probably gonna put it on like later on. So I wanna create like teardrops and I basically like dissolved some of the Nazaru aqua paint in some water. I'm just gonna take my dropper just like from some random serum, I don't know. And I'm gonna create like teardrops and to not ruin makeup completely, I'm gonna stop them with a little bit of tissue. I don't know if it's gonna work, let's try. Okay, so something like this, um, I'm gonna wait till it dries down and I'm probably gonna correct them with, look at this, with some P. Louise base possibly. No, this is a fun look. <laughs> okay, so I wanna glue down the wig and I've never done this before like properly, so pray for me. Because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I'm not wearing for us, so excuse the nudity, if you will. Um, so let's go. I'm just basically like spraying got to be glued across my hairline and where the wig supposedly should be. Now I'm gonna blow dry it. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Okay, let's try to place it down.
Okay, this side is glued. Honestly, not too bad. I mean, my forehead definitely looks huge, but I mean, for this look, it's definitely gonna work. Okay, now I'm gonna take some hair gel and I'm basically gonna do like baby hairs. I'm kinda excited about this part, but honestly, I'm scared at the same time because I'm not that good at doing baby hairs, but we will see how it goes. Okay, now, for the most fun part, I'm gonna be blackening my teeth. Yeah, I bought this from Tooth Polish in the shade Blackout. It looks like this. I already tested it, it's removable, it's safe. It says, Smile Wide. Chrome is a tooth polish, just like nail polish, that can be applied to teeth and removed in a matter of seconds, and lasts for up to 24 hours at a time. It has no taste and comes in brights, whites, black, metallics, glitters, glow, and more. I'm gonna link them down below so you can check them out. I first ordered Trilon tooth paint, uh, it didn't arrive, they canceled the order, so I think I saw Pumbery using this one on her YouTube channel and I was like, perfect, that's exactly what I need. This is so weird. <laughs> that's a look, that's a look, for sure. I need to dry the teeth first. My teeth are so yellow. <sighs> Alright my dolls, so this is the finished look. I went off camera and I finished painting my teeth and I also smeared lube with some pigments all over my face, yes, and I'm looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm absolutely obsessed with this look. I love the hair, I love the makeup, I love the accessories. I made everything myself except for <laughs> the glove because Honey, she cannot sew, unfortunately. But who knows, maybe I will learn how to sew in the near future. That'll be amazing. This look is inspired by human greed and constant need of fulfilling, you know, the void inside of you by buying crap that you don't want, by binge watching reality TV and what have you. You know, the constant consumption of everything. I was definitely inspired by Alexander McQueen and his collection, Horn of Plenty, of course. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Also, the top I am wearing is my recreation of YSL top from spring 2020 ready to wear collection with my own little twist to it. I was also inspired by Mugler Peace God of War at Grammys in 2011. That's where the nipples are from, and obviously. The golden accessories are inspired by Salvador Dali and El Zaski Aparelli work. So, this look was definitely inspired by this and also by the darkness inside of me that I've been struggling with since I was a teenager. You know, this constant dread and just thoughts about death and all of that and just this bitterness because, you know, I used to be bullied a lot and I felt like I did not belong anywhere and I feel like I turned into this bitter monster and this is the representation of this bitter monster, if you will. I have my spoon and my fork spaghetti chains. It took me quite a while to kind of conceptualize everything and make sure that I really turn this look that I have in my head into life and I think I did a great job. Hours and hours and hours of work and here we are. Um, let me know in the comments below what do you think? Would you ever paint your teeth black?
This is so cursed, but I love it. All right, my dolls, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you really enjoyed the process of creating this look. Of course, I did not capture every single moment, but I tried to capture as many moments as I possibly could. Um, I've never documented a look like this before, and I'm really happy that as a part of a project I'm currently working on, this look is being documented and I will definitely have this video in my archives forever and ever and ever because it definitely means the world to me thank you so much for watching and supporting me i really do appreciate it subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a brand new video and of course don't forget to follow me on instagram at my hangman okrayas so you don't miss juicy pics and you don't miss this gorgeous photo shoot that i'm about to have thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Mwah. bye dolls